Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Blue Oval Dude here. I am just going to show you a budget way to CC uh, cylinder heads and uh, combustion chambers, uh, your cylinders, uh, so you can accurately uh, measure your compression or volume of your uh, cylinder heads, etc. So I went down to my local hardware store grabbed a chunk of fiber, um, plexiglass, sorry, and uh, I just put it where I wanted, uh, on the bore, on the block, and just marked it, drilled it out, and uh, I drilled out a couple spots too uh, for CCing my intake runners, etc., whatever I want to do with that. And so that's that piece. And uh, Stopped by the local veterinary clinic, grabbed a 60 cc, ML and cc are the same syringe. Cost me $2.50, so I got $4 into this thing. It doesn't cost you much. And, uh, and then you just take some, some grease or petroleum or whatever and just wipe it around the edge and uh, put the plexiglass on and and measure it. So I'll show you real quick. So I'm going to just put a little more grease on here while I'm getting ready to uh, just check this. So it won't be quite as accurate as like a $150 CC kit, but I'll tell you what, you will be right in the range and uh, you'll be super close. Close enough that it won't really matter. And uh, so I've just got some colored liquid here. This is some windshield washer fluid. It's just easier to see if you don't use water. Uh, preferably use something that isn't going to, you know, eat away at whatever it is you're measuring. So, all right. So I'll just fill up my syringe here. And I'll start putting this in and measuring it out. All right, it looks like we got her right at 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in. I'm not gonna put the plexiglass on it just now because I don't need it. Um, and just keep track of how many you put in. So there's 60. Fill it up again. All right, there's another 60, so that's 120, and just keep going until you get it up close, and then I can put my plate on. If you're doing something smaller, just put the plate on it right away, or the plexiglass. That'll be 180. And I'm kind of getting to the point where I need to put that on now. All right. Let's see here, this is, there it is, just like that. And now I drill these holes out. squeeze it on there and drill these holes out so it just fits this. Alright, that's 180. If 
fill it up again. And let's see where we end up. I'm just going to make sure that I have of the air bubbles out of here by rolling it this direction, covering that hole. And then I'm going to roll it back. Put my air hole so it's just up in the corner. Let's see how this goes here. There it is. So I've got all the air out of it. And it looks like we have 40. So we've added 20 cc's. From 40 to 60. So we were at 180 before. Now we just added uh, 20, so we're only at 200 cc's. So there you go. These intake runners are only 200 cc's now. You probably thought they were a whole lot larger than that, but this isn't that big of a head. So it's a 200 cc head now. That's actually pretty decent sized. It's not really large and it's not so small that we can't, you know, get some uh, decent air movement out of it either. So now I'm just going to pull that back out, whatever I can. Stand it up and we're going to get rid of this, put it back in there. There we go. Sorry if this is taking time. I don't want to bore you guys, but We'll get it out of there. And then you can just dump the rest straight back out into your cup or whatever. There it is. All right. So we have measured the intake side of it. Let's just wipe this up and uh, I can dry that out and blow it out with some compressed air in a little bit. I'm curious what that exhaust side is. Just take our grease and give you a little better view here. Um, and yeah, I've got it sitting on 
on these uh, shop towels because these things are surfaced and ready to go so I do not want to screw up the deck surface of this at this point. Just layer it on there so it seals good. Don't be afraid, it will wipe off, right? Okay. Now we should be able to put our plate on there. Hopefully. One of these. There, that one. Now the exhaust is pretty small. It's not going to take a whole lot to fill this up. So we'll go ahead and fill up our syringe. Just like before. Take my time so I don't spill it out. Let's see here. I am at 45 in there right now. So I'm going to take it out and refill it because 15 is not going to do it at this point. So get that back up to 60. All right. So we were at 45, so let's finish this thing out. And just move my air hole just on the edge. There it is, right there. So we were at 45, and now we've got how many more? Um, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So. Here we go, our intake runners are 200, our exhaust 75. What's surprising to me is that it's right on that. You know, this measures down one cc. So, yeah, it's it's surprising to me. It landed right on 200 and right on 75. <laughs> so this isn't huge. This is actually pretty, you know, medium size. I mean, the exhaust is a little bit, little bit large, but it's not something crazy. So, uh, I'm going to be measuring my um, combustion chamber, and then I'll measure my cylinder, and then. Uh, we can tell exactly, well not exactly, but extremely close to what our compression will be. So we'll be doing that here now. So hold on. All right, I've got this set up here so we can check the combustion chamber. So I showed you how to do that before, so I'm just going to suck this up and we're gonna check this out uh, with the head gaskets that I've got on there and the uh, pistons that I'm running and the deck clearance, etc. Um, if this is 60 cc's, then that will give me roughly 10 6 to 1 compression. So we're going to find out what this is right now so we can accurately uh, determine compression ratio. So, all right, here we go. We got 60 cc's in here. And we're just going to go ahead and see how much we can fit. And yeah, I'm probably going to stop at 10 and refill this thing. 
get her down to 10. All right, right there. And then so it wasn't won't leak. And I'll just refill it now. So that's 50. And I'll get it to 20. So we got 50 in there right now. All right. Just take your time, put it in there and try and get all the air out carefully. There it is, right there. Looks like we're right at the 10 mark. So we're at 50 before and now we are at, oh, I'm sorry, one more, one more cc, 11 cc's. So that puts us right at 61 cc's is our combustion chamber. So that means take one cc off, that's gonna drop us from 10.6 down to 10.5 to one. Not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before. Um, that minuscule amount isn't gonna do hardly anything. You're not even gonna see that on the dyno. Don't even worry about it. Uh, one point of compression will get you in the neighborhood of 20 horsepower. Right around there, if it's set up properly, et cetera, et cetera. So if you go, let's say from uh, 10 to one, and you bump it up to 12 to one, we're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 more horsepower. We jump that two full points. So that gives you an idea what compression will do uh, for your engine. So uh, we determine that at 60, one cc combustion chamber, so I'm going to write that down here. 61 cc combustion chamber. There we go. So our intake's 200 cc's, which I, it's really hard for me to believe. Um, 75 cc is our exhaust, 61 cc combustion chamber. I mean, we did. Um, you know, we did polish those combustion chambers, and we took a little bit out of them. You know, when we when we uh, fixed those edges and those lips that they had on them. So yeah, we lost a cc, not that much. Uh, I didn't measure them before. I really wish I would have measured the intake runners, because see this, I filled up two of these with all the aluminum that I took out of the intake runners. These things must be pretty small. I'm guessing they must be more like 180s to start out with instead of what they're advertised at 190. Um, because, yeah, I'm only at 200 right now. So uh, that pretty much concludes the video. Um, you guys uh, can go ahead and buy this stuff. It doesn't cost you much. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, do these measurements at home and uh, save yourself some money. So uh, until next time, you guys have a good day. Hit that like, share, subscribe. Keep wrenching and keep having fun with it.